All right, this is a broker walkthrough, uh, Fountain Valley 11190, Suite 310. Uh, this is for Cooper Surgical to uh, get an understanding of the lay of the land here. You first walk in, this is waiting area back here. Um, over to the left, this is behind waiting. Let's move over to the back of this section. This um, formerly was a orthopedics office. This was an exam room. I'm sorry, an x-ray room. This door drops back to the common corridor here. Quick shot there. Back to the elevator over in that direction. This is an exam room here. Plumbing. This is also an exam room right next to it. Walk down the hall to two more exam rooms in the corner. I think this was like a telecommunications closet, something like that. I think the intent was to potentially go through that wall to the neighboring spec suite. This is an exam room. And a restroom. We started here, this is the waiting, and this opens up to a very palatial, I think the intent is to put the lab here, or a section of the lab. It's really cool, you got pretty amazing views actually off here. All right, and we're gonna go over here to the right side of the premises. Um, this is kind of like an employee closet room. I think the intent was to merge that with the lab. Same thing with this suite, which is currently an exam room. There is an exam room on the other side. Lower and upper cabinetry, plumbing. Another exam room. Back on the other side, another exam room. This is a pass through here to the interior, which I'll go in a second. I just want to clear this section over here. So, this is the x ray room, observation territory, exam room. And I'm gonna back up for a second so I can get an understanding of where this pass through goes through, connects to. So we're over on the right side, this is another point of entry to the premises. This was previously like a, I think a nurse's counter. It drops you back to the corridor here. This is the other side of the premises. The elevator's around that corner. And then you've got an exam room here in the interior, along with another exam room here. Lower and upper cabinetry. I'm not sure if we went over in this section, so I'm just going to run back for a second. This is an exam that sits on the interior. Just one lonesome interior. There was the uh, the lab, just for quick reference. The palatial lab. Um, this is like a dictation area here. <clears throat> now to resume where we left off over here. There are additional exam rooms here. 
exam, exam, and then on the other side as well, there's an exam room too. So really just stack to the gills with exam rooms with lower and upper plumbing. There's another restroom that sits in the core. <clears throat> and then now we're resuming where I backed up from earlier. This is an exam room on the window line. Um, another restroom here. Exam room. And I think this is just a large admin room by the looks of it. No plumbing or anything. And this was also the doctor's office at one point in time that's sitting in the corner. So, all right, we're gonna go back here for a second, take a left. And then this is kind of the reception for the far, far right of the premises if you're looking at it from a map perspective. This was the waiting room area. And this is behind the waiting area, which is the reception. <clears throat> and back here was like an office manager's room. And then as well as like a biller's desk back here, you'll see. Which has got a lot of cabinetry. Not sure if this is reusable or not. All right, so now we're gonna jump over to the other side of the contiguous space, which is suite 305, that you're also taking a look at as well. And that is through this door, we're in the common corridor, and then technically this wall is conjoining. So you can break this wall down and enter into the neighboring premises, which is right through this door. And hello. So this is just a quick view of what that remnant piece looks like of suite 305. It's just completely wide open along with uh, two offices that were here as well as here. All right. Um, this is the other side of this wall, but I think the premises technically drops at this wall. So it wouldn't be going beyond this wall. Maybe potentially taking this section here to round it out, but I'd say that's about it. <clears throat> All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully it was useful. All right, thanks. Talk to you.